Hello everyone, welcome to your final morning coffee reading of 2019. Thank you so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general general energy reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the final day of 2020, December 31st, that does not mean it has to only resonate at that time. Whenever it, uh, whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that moment, yes? But like I said, this is the final morning coffee session we will have, not only for the month of December, for but for the whole year of 2020. We made it, guys. 2020 is right around the corner. I am so excited. I feel like it's really just going to be a really epic year. It's just going to be, it's just going to be awesome. I'm just so freaking excited about it. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you guys. Um, so I don't really have a pre-shuffle energy. Uh, I was channeling though, and you know, I was seeing the color. The, the, the color is still red. Red? No, yellow. Why did I even, why did I say red? That's weird love i don't know maybe the maybe the color moving into 2020 is a color of love that makes sense that makes sense but anyway um the color i was seeing is yellow um and then that was starting to give way to a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue so right now it just seems like collectively speaking there's some sort of action you know wanting to be taken um action oriented action focused i was hearing um spirit say that we are very action oriented moving into 2020 this is a good thing but this is not like your typical you know rise and grind type of energy this is like um manifestation through alignment um doing what is right for others while also doing what is right for ourselves very much a self-care energy caring for yourself in, in order to, so that you can you know be there and care for others that kind of thing um and a lot of you know the action that we're taking or the action that we're planning on taking moving into this next decade we'll say is very much influenced by the integration of you know higher wisdom spiritual wisdom um if you want to call them you know like spiritual downloads whatnot whatever however that manifests has manifested for you over this we'll, we'll go ahead and say the last decade however you know there the the real a lot of the work has really been done over the, i want to say this last two and a half years where we had that activation back in the summer of 2017 um uh, so yeah yeah so i don't really have a pre-shuffle here other than this this queen of cups and the knight of wands i sat here for a little bit just just shuffling the cards and nothing really came out um i mean this could be significant queen of cups knight of wands someone might want to come forward to a queen of cups um, might want to, you know, I'm hearing profess their love to them, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But, I mean, that's not really a strong message here. So if you want to, hey, if you want to resonate with that, let yourself resonate with that. If you do resonate with that, either you being that Queen of Cups or you being the individual that wants to come forward towards the Queen of Cups, more power to you, buddy. Um, I have a new gift. It was sent by Michelle, who some of you know how of her. You've seen her in the live chats. But look, look, it's a, it's a unicorn, you guys. Isn't it cute? I think it's so cute. Thanks, Michelle. And then I have a bunch of other gifts. Um, I went to the P.O. Box yesterday. And first of all, let's just talk about this whole P.O. Box situation, okay? Because, like, I'm not complaining, but let me tell you, it has been... A struggle <laughs> dealing with the post office and this PO box. I went there yesterday, and Michelle had e had messaged me saying, "Hey, you know, this is, is I just want to check in. This says it's available for for pickup." And I was like, "Perfect. I'm out doing some running some errands. Um, the PO box or the post office is literally the next stop for me." Sorry, I want to 
put some lotion on my hands, is literally the next stop for me, okay? So I go to the post office, I open my box, I have two slips for some items that were ready for pickup. Great, thinking one of them would be Michelle's package. Well, I get those two packages and neither of them are Michelle's. So I say, hey, you know, I have this, a friend of mine, you know, she gave me this tracking number, she said that the package is ready for pickup, and they were like, okay, let's, I'm gonna, uh, I'll go back again and I'll look and if I can't find it then I'll take the tracking number that's what the woman behind the counter said she so I was like all right great awesome so she goes back and she you know she's also getting a bunch of stuff for other people homegirl comes back not with just one other package which yes was Michelle's package but three other packages so Michelle's package and two more girl <laughs> How are you go? How are you gonna go back to see if one package is there and come back with three of them? Like, where were the slips that were supposed to be in my box to say that these were ready for pickup? Where was my notification? Because I have signed up for informed delivery, y'all. So where was my notification that three of these other packages were ready for pickup? I'm sorry. Well, uh, I might have to close my blinds in a second. But like, how you go? How you gonna do that? <laughs> So, anyway, needless to say, this P.O. Box situation has been a mess. Um, but I have four other pack I have four packages to open, and I'm going to do that for our next live session. I, I might have just an unboxing. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that on... Oh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Um, either I'm going to do an unboxing, or I'm going to do it at our next happy hour which is going to be next week we're not going to be doing happy hour this week <sighs> so that was a little bit of story time for you <laughs> but anyway so let's just get into the reading then for today right the sun is coming out which is fantastic but it kind of screws with the lighting sometimes it's like it's really coming out y'all i might have to close my blinds i don't really want to it was all cloudy all of a sudden now it's you know what? We're going to let the sun play with us today. How about that? I like that idea. Okay, great. So let's get into the reading for today. Well, okay. I, I do kind of feel some of you are like, well, this actually the sun coming out like this is pretty symbolic because we're moving into a brighter new age and era. And as I say that, it goes right back behind the clouds. <laughs> Anyway, all right, sorry guys, let's get into this here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Tuesday, December 31st, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got. One. Two. Three for the collective for our Tuesday, December 31st. 2019 four and last but not least five all right y'all let's see what we've got Tuesday December 31st what would you like to discuss with us today spirit what would you like to discuss with us today spirit more that was just one card. What is it? Oh, good lord, it's the Ace of Cups. Good God. All right. <laughs> All right. Tuesday, December 31st. Okay. Tuesday, December 31st. I'm going to give this one more pass. 
I haven't looked. I, f I really felt like I needed to peek when that first card came out. I haven't peeked again. You guys probably already see what's on the table already. It might have gone. It might be a complete disaster. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna do this one more time. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Tuesday, December 31st. Oh, okay. December 31st. Ooh. My, my, my. Oh. Oh, shit, y'all. <gasps> okay, overall energies. The chariot with the four of swords. That's contradictory, but that's okay. Holy shit. We have the knight of wands, the ace of cups, the fool, the emperor, the tower, and the page of cups. <gasps> you guys. Oh my goodness. So, um, I, I don't know how else to read this other than the masculine is coming forward. <laughs> um, there's a leap of faith that's hap going, that's looking to happen here. Uh, very interesting. Look at the tower. This, this side of the tower has the two sphinxes of the chariot. Okay, which... We have right here. I mean, we don't see the sphinxes in, in this side of the chariot, but we do have the chariot here. Eleven, eleven. Oh boy. Um, and what I'm kind of what I'm getting with this is this is like a a change in direction, a change of course. You could even call it an about face, um, a complete 180, maybe. Or you might maybe like maybe not like a complete 180. Maybe you're just making like a, a 45 degree turn right <laughs> no <laughs> but you <laughs> i mean is that yeah no anyway i'm i'm not, not not please i'm not trying to do math right now anyway i'm what i'm saying is this is a just that this is a change in direction okay you you're either go turning and completely and going the complete complete opposite way or you're pivoting and you're going in a you're either way you're going in a new direction or someone is going in a new direction um and it is very much taking a leap of faith here with the fool and the emperor i mean the emperor is you could be talking about the about the divine masculine you could be talking about your twin flame your divine counterpart we could be talking about you if you are the masculine counterpart here um or this is just masculine energy this is the inner masculine your inner masculine energy this is you being in control of your life ultimately that is really what the what what the emperor stands for and represents being in control of your life being i'm hearing a master manifester okay great um the master of your own domain, a protector, a father, even a healer, I am saying, or I am hearing. Um, <clears throat> okay, so whatever this is, for, for whomever this is, an element to it is m taking a leap of faith and moving forward with your heart's guidance. Um, w the, moving forward in a way that is really super fulfilling for you. This could be something that is um, maybe a childhood w wish, a childhood dream with this page of cups here. Um, this is uh, new creative understanding. New, I'm sorry, new emotional understanding. It could be new creative understanding as well. Um, an emotional offer of some sort. I'm also getting an energy of like being connected to your inner child with this page of cups. Um, and then uh, coupled with the ace of cups here. Okay. This I do actually, I, I do think I am going to, I'm going to close. Hold on guys. I'm going to close my blinds just because the sun is coming in and out. I love you, sun. Thank you so much for shining, but not at the moment. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, so uh with this ace of cups here it's like being in alignment or loving yourself enough to move forward with what you truly desire that's definitely an energy that's coming through here um and there also could be an energy of making some sort of emotional offer i mean this ace of cups is the daylight we're not looking at this nighttime scene where we have cre creepy mcstalker pants over here <laughs> you know watching from afar or watching from the distance or watching from the shadows or whatnot we have 
this i mean the ace of cups is illuminated the the, the sun has come out you, the sun was coming out on us you know the, the sun was shining um it's it's lit it's conscious it's daylight energy it's it's con we are consciously aware of it it's something that either consciously wants to be known wants to be shown or is something that you are bringing out of the shadows out of hiding in some way maybe <clears throat> Now, with this overall energy, first of all, we do have the chariot here, and it's it's this it's the side of the card where we see that wherever this individual in the chariot goes, that's where the manifestation develops. Okay, so without you, there is nothing to be seen. There is nothing to experience. So this is another. This is a really good example or representation of how we create our own realities. Okay, and so here we see the chariot rider moving forward towards its goals, towards his or her goals, towards what it is they want to manifest in life. With the other side of the card or the deck here, we have the four of swords and it is a little bit of a conflicting energy in the sense that the four of swords is about rest, meditation, contemplation, retreat even. Um, and the chariot is the exact opposite of that. The, the chariot is is movement forward is fast is swift movement forward right but here what this is saying is especially with the fact that we have the side of the four of the swords where we don't see the 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 fire burning in the background or you know the situation going up in flames or something being destroyed or torn down we see the individual here sitting and meditating and contemplating or even resting okay so what i'm getting with that is you know, whatever it is you're moving towards right now, whatever new journey you're embarking upon, whatever leap of faith you're taking, this is, uh, you really gave this a good amount of thought. This is not something that you really just kind of rushed into, even though right now you're feeling or you might be feeling, all right, let's go, ready to do this. It's because you took some time, you mapped it out, you planned it out, you felt it out, you, you, really, were, you really took some time to say to yourself, okay, is this really what I want? Because if this is what I want, if this is where we're going, if this is what we're doing, there is no turning back. So before we just jump into it and start having at it, let me make sure that this is really truly what I desire. And I would say ultimately you have come to the decision that yes, you're ready to do this. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and then we have this Knight of Wands here. And the Knight of Wands did come out in the pre-shuffle. Okay, so um well we really didn't have a pre-shuffle. <laughs> But Spirit just said to me, um, yeah, you did, Eric. Remember that Queen of Cups with the Knight of Wands when you were talking about how there might be someone going, trying to come forward to that Queen of Cups there? Well, looky here. You could have that. That's what we could be talking about here, especially with this Emperor here, the Chariot, you know, the, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups. I mean, the Tower. And, and and every time I'm looking at this tower energy, I'm hearing an about face. So some sort of mask is coming off. Some sort of illusion is being illuminated with that sunlight that was that kept you know coming out of the clouds. Um, whatever direction someone may have been going in in the past, they're ready to let that go and go in a new direction now. So there goes that mask, the, the, the chariot and the, 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 the system that was carrying this person in this direction is destroyed. Those sphinxes have been set free. We have a new vehicle, a new direction in, in, in mind. Oh boy, you guys, this is a really awesome message to close out 2019. <laughs> okay. So I want to get a little bit of clarification. And what I really want to clarify right now, I want to clarify this emperor energy here. Do it together. Okay, let's do the emperor with the fool. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So this new leap of faith, this new direction you're moving in. 
being the master of your own domain and making an executive decision, an executive decision for yourself, for your life, for your loved ones, for your future self, I'm hearing, for maybe even a future family. The emperor is the masculine, it is the, the father figure, whereas the empress is the feminine and the mother figure. Now this could be, I mean, I'm just going to say in how I feel it, this could be your twin flame, your divine masculine, if that resonates with you. But if that doesn't resonate with you, then this is just an energy of you being in control. And saying, time is up, enough is enough, let's do this already. Excellent. Let me give this one last shuffle. Okay. Here we go. Let's get a little bit of clarity on this for you guys. The Emperor with the Fool. Oh, shut the fuck up. The Ten of Cups? There's that Four of Swords again. Oh my god, the world. Oh my god. You, yeah, you guys, this is definitely something that um, either you or someone has really been contemplating for a while. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. It's something that you are working on or they are working on. They've been working for you or they, you or they have been working very hard on this. And um, the world here. Oh shit, with the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and they're saying take the, take the top three, okay. Six of Cups, oh my god, you guys! I can't, I fucking, I can't, I, I, I absolutely, I can't, I'm just, I can't, I'm flabbergasted. I <laughs> you guys, first of all, you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, damn. This is everything, this is like... This is some dank ass energy, y'all. Like, I can't even. With the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, leaving some sort of past behind, the, 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 the pain, the heartbreak, the sadness, the worst of it is over. It's done. It's come to completion. Look at how, look at how much completion you have with this Emperor and the Fool energy. You have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the world. You guys have to excuse me. I, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of shaking at the moment. This energy is like so intense. You also have another depiction of that. Ten with the eight of pentacles and the two of pentacles. Okay. Someone really worked hard for this. Or if this is you, you really worked hard for this. You made an executive decision with the king of swords. It, it, this really, okay, look, we don't have the lovers, but we definitely have the six of cups. All right. So we could be talking about, we're definitely talking about soulmates. But if, if it's if it's deeper than that, if it's more than that for you, we're talking twin flames. We're talking counterparts. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's all just a label anyway. But ultimately, somebody made, and this is definitely the masculine here, so either this is your divine masculine, your counterpart, or this is the masculine energy within you. But somebody made an executive decision. And in terms of like a love connection, someone was really saying, look, let me look at all the facts. Let me see this clearly for what it is. Let me be real. Let me be honest with you. Let me be honest with myself. Let's call a spade a motherfucking spade. This is my soulmate. This is my counterpart. This is my twin flame. Let's just do this already. Okay, that's one narrative. There's another narrative which is saying, all right, look, this is what I want. This is something that I've wanted my whole life. I mean, with this Six of Cups and this Page of Cups energy here, this definitely is, could be um, getting connected back with your inner your inner child getting back to the your your sense of innocence your sense of purity your sense of wonder and 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 nostalgia and reconnecting with all of the things that you always wanted maybe as a kid or maybe even as a young a a a, 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 a teenager a young adult whatever getting back in connection with all that kind of stuff and finally saying you know what i'm actually going to do all that now I love myself enough to know that I don't have to keep up this charade anymore. Ace of Cups and the Tower. And so now I'm going to go forward. I'm going to put the past behind me. And I'm going to go after what it is I truly want. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles with the world. I mean, someone really... Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords. I mean, if this is you... 
you really did some hard work this this to me looks like the breakdown of um soul searching or what like the hermit energy would represent four swords being that contemplative restful going within energy two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is doing the work to bring a greater balance into your life in a physical way so yes Yes, we're talking physically here because we're talking about how the external manifestation of your life is affected by all of this internal work, right? So you're going within, yes, but you're still doing a lot of work within that is influencing a shift in your reality in the external. It's a shift in your energy, which then manifests in a shift in your external reality. So you have the 8 to the 2 to the 10, okay? And... While I do want to say that this Ten of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles does in fact represent everything that you've always wanted in the physical reality, okay, so that's coming to you. I really do feel like that's coming to you. It's also symbolizing, this Ten of Pentacles is also symbolizing completion, completion of a lesson, uh, completion of a circumstance, completion of a life cycle, okay, moving on to the next phase in life. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I want to talk about this tower energy now. Just this one alone. Yes, we're going to do we're going to talk about this tower energy because I I was looking to see if there was anything else that maybe we would want to talk about, want to discuss, and I and I looked at the tower and I heard I heard someone scream about face again. <clears throat> I keep hearing about face when I see this when I'm looking at this tower card. So we're going to we're gonna um we're gonna talk about this a little bit here. What is this about face? What is this tower energy? What what is this? Let's look a little deeper for you guys. Ooh, the Queen of Wands. Take that one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god with the two of wands. Take the top. They're saying take the top three again. All right. Okay. Well, damn. Y'all, this is some dank ass energy. Two of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So a choice has been made. Hello. Ace of Wands. All right. Look, the top three cards that they wanted me to pull ended up being the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the High Priestess. So there is a choice that has been made, especially with this Two of Wands energy here. There's a choice that someone has made. Um, they have done it. What I'm hearing is you or they have made this choice in accordance with the, your with your higher self or their higher selves. Um, there's secret knowledge that they have gained access to, which has helped them make this decision or helped you make this decision. Um, The other thing that I'm getting with this Seven of Wands, it coupled in with these with these two cards being the Ace of Wands and the pre High Priestess, there is a sh strong. I'm hearing vehement defense, strong defense of the decision that they have made, the ch or the choice that you have made to go in a certain direction. <sighs> Look, guys, I say this shit all the time. I'm not trying to do love readings here, but damn it, if it comes out, it comes out. So, what is this about face? A partnership. A union, I guess you could even say. We don't have the lovers, but still, we do have the Two of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands, and we have the Chariot again. All right? So the Queen of Wands could be the Divine Feminine in this situation. Or the Queen of Wands is you. Um, I'm feeling... What I'm getting from the Queen of Wands is an attractive energy. Like a, a, magnet, a magnetic energy. Pulling something in towards you. Pulling this relationship in towards you. So regardless of the perspective i'm not i don't want to read it from a perspective of one person or the other right now because that's not how i'm feeling the energy how i'm feeling the energy is someone is in an energy of manifesting this relationship manifesting this partnership this union like drawing it in towards them and to be quite honest this could be the both of you if we are talking about counterparts twin flames soulmates whatever if this is happening, it's because the both of you are in this energy. The high priest, um, ooh, not the high priestess, I'm sorry. The, the um, 
queen of wands with the chariot here okay you both are in alignment with yourselves alignment within you do have this balance of masculine and feminine energy within which is gravitating or pulling this new situation this new circumstance this new i'm hearing new foundation a new love or a new foundation in a love relationship something whatever whatever this is for you you are literally pulling it in so that even that even goes for like say the masculine here who if there is a masculine energy or an individual that is looking to come forward in some way you still have been in this receptive energy to gravitate this towards you okay you two are in alignment you are harmonizing with each other mm. now part of this whole about face energy coming through with this tower here is now needing to choose like okay so a decision has been made here sure okay and this could be i choose you pikachu okay great <laughs> okay great now with this two of wands energy there could be another choice and i'm feeling that choice is how to move forward together how to move forward as a couple okay oh, dank dank ass energy y'all oh all right Okay, cool. So what? Get it together, Eric. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm kind of losing my mind right now. Okay. Um, so now I want to get final message from Spirit here. We're going to go to the Golden Universal Tarot for that. Um, and I can't. I Wow. And um, then we're going to get our Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala today. I mean, I just, I can't even believe all of this that has come out here. Wow. All right, y'all. Closing, final closing message from Spirit. Um, I don't, we might do, no, Crystal Mandala. Okay, cool. All right, Spirit, closing message, please. Your final message for us here. Closing out 2020. Oh, I'm sorry, closing out 2019, moving into 2020. How about that? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Last shuffle. All right, y'all. Closing message from Spirit. The Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. This hanged man is still reversed. That's really interesting. Um, okay. So, here's the deal. <clears throat> Hold on. Wait, let me get... Let me pull one more row. Okay. So... Here's the deal. What Spirit is kind of saying with this Knight of Pentacles that came out, slow and steady move, wins the race. Move at... <laughs> they're almost saying move at a snail's pace. You don't have... Um, that's not the message. What is the message, Spirit? You don't have to move at a snail's pace, but you can get work... You can get things working slowly. You don't have to rush into anything. Um, moving forward... There's going to be a lot that is going to need to be handled. There's a, there's, <laughs> and everything. You just have to take it, ten of wands to the two of wands. Take it one bit at a time, one little piece at a time. Okay, one wand at a time, one responsibility at a time, one step at a time. Take it one step at a time. This interesting. I thought I put this away upright, but obviously I didn't. But the. The hanged man here in reverse, um, I'm going to let it be reversed because what I think it's saying, or I really feel like it's saying is like you guys have the knowledge and the wisdom to move forward. There really is no reason to hold yourselves back any longer. And that actually was the message yesterday. So spirit, that was part of the message yesterday. So I'm going to turn this up right now um, so that I don't forget later on. But spirit is kind of reiterating the message from yesterday and saying, <laughs> don't worry too much about this. Just take it in stride. Take it as it comes. You are ready for whatever it, whatever this new direction is you're moving in. You do have this Ace of Cups here. It is in alignment with love. Um, move forward quickly. 
well, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Just move forward at your own pace. Take it one step at a time. Okay, you have the tower with the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. The tower again. All right, there is a mass, there is a huge change that's coming here, guys. Like massive change. And it's coming in quickly. And that's the energy that I was saying, you know, it's moving quickly. This is the Eight of Wands energy. Um, that's very quick uh, 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 communication. Especially with the Ace of Swords. I mean, Get ready. <clears throat> Be prepared. Something is about to change. Drastically, is what I'm hearing. And it's all in the sense of love. Ace of Cups. Something is about to... Holy shit. Something is about to change, you guys. <laughs> and I don't want to scare anybody, but... Damn. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's really all I... Yeah, that's all, right, Spirit? Yep, that's all we've got for you. Okay. I mean, this could be... This could be marriage. This could be a relationship. This could be... With this Knight of Pentacles here, this feels like a commitment for someone. Someone has come, Someone's coming out of the darkness and into the light and is communica communicating. I mean, it obviously could be the masculine here. I mean, we got no bad cards here you guys other than maybe the ten of wands the ten of swords did pop out but that was to 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 symbolize com completion we actually did get all four of the tens at this point because the ten of swords came out here we have but that was an overall energy so that's why we don't see it anymore we have the ten of wands the ten of pentacles the ten of cups and the world where's the world right here the world is oh it's right here you can't really see it but I mean, that is so much completion. The, cat, the tower has come out here twice. Did it come out three times? No, just twice. The chariot came out twice. I mean... Wow. I'm, I'm floored, y'all. Get ready. 2020 is about to be... Some shit's about to pop off, y'all. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's get our oracle guidance. Good lord, y'all. I can't. I, I, I mean, I can't even. Like, can you, can you, like, can you even believe? I can't believe this shit. Okay, here you go. Closing message. Oracle guidance, please, spirit. To close out 2019. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Card number 12. Storm Wisdom, uh, Angel Raziel and Pietrosite. Storm Wisdom. Yikes! Okay, alright. Well, this is a good thing, y'all. Card number 12, that does boil down to a 3. That is a number of the Ascended Masters. It's also a number of building, partner, uh, yeah, uh, building, community, partnership. Okay. Let's read this. We bring you the gift of storm wisdom. This is the fierce cleansing nature of divine compassion made manifest in the world. Storm wisdom thrills the spirit for it understands that so much benefit and liberation will come from the process. Yet the mind may quake at the prospect of such little control over how your life events are unfolding for a time. What is happening during an experience of storm wisdom is that anything that has become stagnant or obstructing to your spiritual growth will be uprooted. You may find that the divine storm of transformation powering through your life creates a feeling of upheaval, creative chaos, uncertainty, and excitement. You may feel simultaneously liberated and exhilarated whilst also wondering if everything is going to be okay. You must remember that you will only be asked to give up something in order to receive that which is far more beautiful and supportive of your sacred life journey. You must also remember that the cleansing power of the storm will revitalize you, bringing you fresh energy and perspective to take forward in your journey and is a divine blessing which will only bring good into your life. 
Excellent. That, my friends, is absolutely beautiful. And I am so excited for you all, for whomever this is for. I mean, this is fantastic. But anyway, I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here with me for morning coffee throughout this year. I mean, this has been my first full year of doing morning coffee. And we're moving into January. We're moving into the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations is a Capricorn, actually, because it was born on January 8th. And I just realized I recorded, I recorded the intro for the January readings yesterday, and I forgot, I forgot to mention that. Oh well, I'm not going back and re-recording them now. But anyway, yes, we're moving into the two-year anniversary, and I am so grateful. I really just want to say how grateful I am for all of you for being here with me, for allowing me to, <laughs> for allowing me to get into your heads, to read your mail, to read your energy, however you want to describe it. Thank you for allowing me the privilege to do that for you um, and to help be a guide for you. And I look forward to continue doing that throughout 2020 and beyond. Yeah. Okay. I love you all so very much. Happy New Year. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you for our next cup of coffee next year, most likely Thursday morning. Yeah? <laughs> Take care. Mwah! Bye!